Hey everyone, it's time to wrap up Dead Pixels with the solution. Fuck it. September 16th, 1983. H. Mason Maximum Security Correctional Facility. We have chosen you for a mission of the utmost importance. We're sending you to New Hexington, New York. Mid-July, an incident at the chemical plant reanimated the recently deceased. The army were sent in, but had to be pulled out. Since then, we've been looking for a solution to this problem. We think you might be that solution. At 2100 hours, you'll be dropped at the city's airport. From there, you will head west to the city's power plant. In the plant, you'll activate its triggering system. You will then escape the city. If you're in need of supplies or reinforcements, contact me via radio. You can also search houses for supplies and weapons. And if you survive all this, we'll give you a presidential pardon. Good luck. So, we got six, I think, yeah, six assholes to choose from, each with various levels of skill, which can actually go above uh, the normal game survival mode four levels. Uh, S. Perry, armed robbery, 25 years. He's lucky and he can bargain, he's got decent speed and strength, fuck that. M. Books, Brooks, fraud, 15 years. He's good with a gun, he's got high health. Eh, okay, strength. Unlucky as fuck. Eh, shitty melee. A oh, decent speed is bargaining's meh. R. Kirkman, he's a badass. Max gun skill. Eh, he's he's kind of low. He only has uh, I think he only has like 200 health. Strength, mm, he can only carry uh, 100 pounds of equipment. His lux, yeah. His melee's okay. His speeds, meh. His bargaining sucks. Crime classified, sentence classified. S. Smith, assault, 10 years. Uh, pretty good with a gun, meh, for health and strength, luck. Melee, speed, and bargaining's all average. J. Russo, sucks with a gun, meh, for health. Shitty strength. Good with melee and speed, though. Really good with melee and speed. And then W. Ellis, average with gun, pretty decent amount of health, okay strength, shitty luck, pretty good melee, speed and bargaining is below average. We're going to take Mr. Murder Death Kill. Here's some tips to help you complete the mission. Only carry what you need, there's no one alive in the city to barter with. If you need supplies or reinforcements, call me on the radio. If you need to save, you can use one of your ink ribbons. Remember, once you're done with what you have to do, get back to the airport. So you start with 40 shells, a chamber shotgun, a couple, couple grenades, and a couple med kits. As you can see, this guy does 25 damage. He's got a pretty good crit rate with his melee attack. The way the solution works is it's whatever whatever difficulty you pick, it's half the number of streets to the target. Oh hey, we actually got some bullets. It's half the number of streets to the to the triggering system in the power plant, and then you have to backtrack all the streets. And it gets harder as it goes on. This is not the first time I've attempted to record this, and my dumb, stupid ass keeps forgetting to save. So I'm gonna save after 10 streets with one of my ink ribbons. He can use the radio four times, and it'll tell you how many streets and which direction the drop point will be. 
Uh, compared to hard difficulty, on hardest difficulty, but when you... On hard difficulty, I got to the power plant fine, and it was on the way back that shit got real. Well, I've been playing it on hardest, and be right before you get to the power plant, shit gets real. Real, real bad. And now watch, now that I'm actually talking about this, it's not going to happen. It's going to be like, oh, that wasn't too bad at all. This shotgun sucks balls. Melee attack does more damage than the shotgun does. At least with... At least with 25 damage, the beginning hordes will die real fast. We need an ass load of money. You cannot buy upgrades either. There's no skill upgrades to purchase. Uh... You know, that gun's not even worth taking. The bullets are... Pension check. Die, Grandpa. And I think actually 25 is the most damage you can do because I don't think any of the other characters had above five five skill. Here, have a flare. Oh, is this the house I looted? Oh. Give me your check. Your social security, Grandpa. You don't need it. You're undead. Let's bury you in the basement and keep collecting it. Yeah, and all the other difficulties, the ink ribbon's not really, not really needed at all because it auto saves at the end of every fucking street. Loot. Shitty, shitty bolt action. Die. I must afford a multitude of med kits and stuff. Thirteen streets. Hey, at least this will go faster than the original game did. Don't have to spend the first twenty minute video fucking grinding for med kits for stores that never come. Fucking goddamn AI director. Oh, what's that? You have almost forty thousand dollars and you haven't seen a shop since the second street? Fuck you! Asshole. I'm gonna just take the med kit, cause I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wind up winging the fucking... I'm probably going to end up accidentally winging the grenades at something. Ooh, adrenaline. Check. Ah, 
God damn it, he got me. I'll take a Redfield Eagle. Sorry, I only need one Redfield Eagle. And it's still not powerful enough to actually make me want to use it. With the number of spitting assholes showing up, I might actually consider it. Twelve Street. What? Wait. Wow, that was a long street. Yeah, this time, I don't think I'm going to get the minigun. Last couple of attempts, I was like, oh yeah, here's a minigun with, you know, 10,000 rounds of ammunition, and it, it, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the Burton assault rifle. It's much more... It's much more practical, just, yeah. Sure, it fires half, it only, you know, only has half the rate of fire, but the damage and penetration differences are just... A lot better. Oh, that's a piece of shit. Hello. Die. I'll take this hero or adrenaline. This guy, this guy reminds me of uh, Pink from Vampire of the Masquerade Redemption. As much of a bastard as Pink was. Seven streets away. Redfield sawed off in the chamber's carbine. Not like I'm actually going to use them, but just to say, hey, look what I have. Uh oh. That's not good. Excuse me, sir, is there a reason that there's a. Oh. Hell, a retarded looking zombie. Was that was the retarded zombie supposed to be the warning? Or did it just want to be nice and give me extra money? getting reckless around those guys. Painkiller. Shotgun shells. Dead zombie. Bitch. Bullet. 
Grandpa, quick, give me your money. I'm gonna buy a new toy from the military surplus store. Weekend. Hmm. Did not go as I had originally planned. I was thinking we're gonna get around with dead pixels early and we're gonna start in on Dead Island Riptide. And I get get back from class Friday night. A waste of fucking time that it is. Hey, you're here you're here at a technical institute, right? Right? I want to learn how to, you know, I want to learn technical aspects of shit, okay? Here, take this art appreciation class. Uh, how about no? Why don't you give me my fucking money back, you goddamn thieves? One of the reason, uh, and you can't, you can't actually have a discussion in that class either. It's, seriously, it's like I'm driving, I gotta drive 45 fucking miles down to South Bend fucking go to camp, go to, you know, to the fucking campus. And it's, yeah, you know, I still remember that one, one, one line. We are here to facilitate discussion, however, this is not a forum for your opinions. It's like, well, how the fuck are we here to discuss anything? Anyway, it's like, oh great, another shitty fucking waste of time. Get home, got a message waiting for me. It's like, hey, Raven's telling me, Reorks on sale. Alright, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. We have been waiting for that fucking thing to go on sale. So everybody can pick it up and we can do another co-op LP of the fucking thing. So Operation Raccoon City's pretty badass. I mean... Slant 6 came right out and said, this isn't canon. Don't take it seriously, it's just for fucking fun. And you know what? It's real. The game is really, really fun. I mean, there's actually zombies in it. Yeah. So I ended up getting distracted with... Operation Raccoon City, and once everybody's got their fucking days off and everything in fucking order, we're gonna try to get a full co-op dealie going on with that. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. I can go back to having my pet infected. Cause I love playing as a field scientist. <laughs> like, oh, what's this? Some asshole? Here, stab. You're my little pet crimson head now. <laughs> you got this slavering monster kind of just running around there, running, running circles around the party, blah, 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 all over the place. <laughs> and then you, with the press of the button, you sick him on somebody. Or a pet hunter. Uh, yeah. But, anyway, get, get this finished. You know, get Dead Pixels finished up and I'll get started in on Riptide this afternoon as long as I don't, you know, like, fucking die. What street am I on? I'll find out after this. I don't know, we're starting to fight. Crackhead zombies and armless hookers, so 